Some students at San Diego State say their on-campus housing is abysmal and expensive. More than 550 people have signed a petition demanding a refund from the university. Our tenders anchor Derek Stahl reports the complaints are coming after a change in university policy. So bad. From leaks to brown tap water. Just gross. Our fridge didn't work. And then there's like a random hole in that corner. That Sophomores Hannah Bengard and Kaylee Slivkoff say they've encountered one problem after another at Aztec Corner, which became university housing this year. My roommate found like termites on her bed. Yep, so termites, and they're not alone. These are photos from other residents in the 600 bed complex. It's just absurd, just all the all the stuff going on this year. The university leased the complex in conjunction with a new policy that requires all non-local sophomores to live in on-campus housing. Like I get what their point is, it's trying to like, oh, better GPAs, like closer to campus. I get that kind of stuff, but raising the prices by like nearly half is just like stupid. I just like don't agree with that. Rent jumped to $12.85 a month per person for a four-person apartment here. It was $784 before the university took over. The raise in price was just completely unreasonable. They didn't do any remodels. They haven't fixed anything. If anything, the apartments are just getting older and they're raising the price for no reason. Students feel the university is charging above market rates because they're not allowed to go anywhere else. They say just steps away in off-campus housing, the cost is hundreds of dollars less. We're all just fed up. We spotted a pest control truck outside Aztec Corner. Students say the university responds to most problems quickly. They say the problems just never seem to stop. Derek Stahl, 10 News. In a statement, San Diego State told us the rent includes the market rate set by the property manager and the university's residential education cost. San Diego State says it tracks repair requests to make sure they are completed in a timely fashion. And as there were only two cases still open as of today. 